Hey everybody, Isaac Wilkins, Relentless Strength Training and BeyondTheBarbell.com and today I'm kind of hanging out in the office uh, answering some questions over email and figured I'd shoot a couple of videos while I was at it. Um, one of the questions I've gotten actually a couple times in the last few weeks is how to structure skill training for a sport with overall preparation, strength training, all that stuff in the off season. Because a lot of teams now are deep off season, like particularly if they play a fall sport like football or soccer or something like that, and a lot of the sports I work with. And the issue is that a lot of athletes are confused on whether they should be spending time now working on their skills, like their kicking drills, their tackling drills, movement stuff, um, throwing, that type of thing, or whether they should just be focused on getting strong in the gym or how to balance the two. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things somewhat's going to be variable depending on where you are in your development as far as both skill and physical preparation. But in general, what I've always found has worked best for my athletes is that the off-season is the off-season for a reason. The off-season is for you to gain strength, get your body in shape, and get strong. And the in-season time is the time to, especially that preseason, uh, getting close to it, it's a time when it's best to start working on the skills. Not to say that you don't want to work on any skills, especially if it's sort of a complex thing like a throwing athlete or a basketball athlete or something like that, shooting. It's just not a priority. So off-season, how I end up having my athletes structure their training is kind of think of it as a pyramid. The base of the pyramid, the most important thing that we spend the most time on is overall physical preparation, movement quality, making sure that the athlete can move, making sure that everything is balanced, making sure that you know you really have all of that type of movement and neurological stuff done, blah, blah, blah. Everything that's going to make you into a better athlete, just better moving around. That's the priority. The next priority from there, kind of a little bit further up the pyramid, a little smaller, is maximal strength training just getting as strong as you can and within maybe with a couple of exceptions I can't think of a single athlete that doesn't benefit from getting as strong as possible in the off season while they're still maintaining that movement quality or improving that movement quality and usually they'll improve the movement quality as they get stronger then the top of the pyramid is the off season skill training getting around working on your basketball shot working on your kicks working on Whatever it is off season for you, wrestlers end up doing a lot of technique stuff, that type of thing. That's the smallest priority because you don't want that to take away from the other two. As the season progresses, it gets closer, you're going to kind of flip flop those around a little bit. So, hope that makes things super simple. Get out there. If it's off season right now for you, get your movement in and get strong as hell. After that, you want to play around a little bit, go ahead and work on some skills. All right, we'll talk to you next time. Later.